Hi planner babes, it's the Savage Planner back at it again. Um, today I'm going to discuss, um, today I would like to discuss uh, what I did to my happy planner and how I converted it to an A5 binder. And this is my Louis Vuitton pocket agenda cover that I use every single day. If you want to know more of how I filled this and fixed it, you can follow my YouTube channel and check out the video. Now let's get on to my happy planner. This is my classic happy planner, okay? And what I did with my classic happy planner is I purchased a Recollections A5 binder. Okay, as you can see, it's the exact same size as a happy planner, so it fits perfectly in it. The one thing I didn't like about the happy planner uh, binder covers is that they didn't have rings and the one thing I did not like about the happy planner was the rings I found that the pages were ripping at the ends and flipping the pages I, I, I just didn't like it uh, although they were really cute with the little hearts I just did not like the rings for my personal use I prefer uh, a ringed binder so anyways let's get into it and how I made it uh, first, I designed the cover. Uh, this Again, this is a Recollections A5 binder. Uh, I believe it's in rose gold. And I decorated it a little in the front. Uh, this die cut here is from Planner Mania. I will post uh, the links down below. Um, so again, this is from Recollections from Michaels. I had purchased, uh, I had a 45% off coupon. So I actually paid like $24 for this, which is nothing compared to like the Carpe Diem or the File of Facts, I found this is a perfect deal and exactly what I needed. So here we go. So you open it up and as you can see, it's a six ring binder. So it fits an A5 size. Um, I just decorated it a little bit here. Um, this is just temporary. Um, I made these myself, my beautiful daughter, some little clips here, some clip art that I'm trying to figure out where to put. There's a little pocket here. Um, this is my cover. It's not done yet. This is my dividers. My dividers were made custom from me, for me from Life Potion. I will also click the link down below. She's amazing for custom uh, dividers. And here's the pages for the Happy Planner. Okay, I will just show you the empty pages for now. Okay. So as you can see, I, how I fit my Happy Planner Classic into my A5 Recollections binder was I literally took month by month, okay, I took month by month, which is not a lot of pages, sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Month by month, I pulled it out nicely, tore it apart, and I have a paper cutter, and what I did with the paper cutter is I cut each month right by where the little grooves of the happy planner end so literally right there is where I cut it so the only one thing about cutting it is some of the month the month view one of the numbers gets cut off which I don't really care too much about because I it's just one one date that you can't see so for me that doesn't really bother me I'll show you what it looks like where is it? August. See, just one month right here. One date, I mean. Not a month, a date. <laughs> so as you can see, it fit everything in here. This is an 18-month classic planner. I fit everything in here, including, I even included the folders. Here's some more dividers from Life Potion. I cut the folders as well, right at the very edge of where the little mushroom shape um, hole punches are for the happy planner so as you can see I fit all 18 months in here okay so it was very easy it was a little time-consuming but very easy because what I did is I don't have a six hole punch at home so I punched each month individually with a single hole punch I just 
use the template and just punch them all. It didn't take me long, it took me about a half an hour, but I got them all punched and I didn't have to spend money on a six hole punch because I already have the Happy Planner hole punch. So I didn't think I needed to go spend money for that. Plus I wanted to get this done right away and I couldn't get to Michael's in time. So with that said, it fits perfectly in this binder. It doesn't hang out at all. There's even a little loop for your pen here. Um, at the back of this recollections binder, there's even a little pocket back here and another little pocket back here. So why I chose the recollections planner is because it cost me 24 bucks. Unlike the Carpe Diem or the Filofax, which can cost you over $50. So, let me just close it up. It's very easy to close, but not with one hand. And I will show you. No space. It goes flush with the binder. And the monthly tabs stick out. Which, I prefer my monthly tabs here. Some people prefer their monthly tabs here. Which, if that's what you choose, what you can do is you can trim the happy planner to cut all the month, cut, cut, just trim right along here and you can add your dividers at the top. So it'll stick out at the top. That's just your preference. My preference is I don't mind them here. I actually prefer them here. So it closes no problem and just clip it there. And there we go, we're off. So again, this is an 18 month classic happy planner that I had put into a Recollections A5 binder. Um, again, I didn't like the happy planner binder because there was no rings in it, which again, I can't, I, I needed rings. I am a ring girl. Even in my pocket, Louis of Agenda pocket, I have rings. I love the way it lays flat. Again, Rings for me. I'm a ring girl. So, see, with the Happy Planner, I don't really use it for daily planning. I use it more for memories, memory keeping. I use it as, like, a photo album almost. So my memories, I print them out with my Polaroid zip. Sometimes I use sticker paper, and I use the Happy Planner, me and my Big Ideas stickers, my new tattoo, my gorgeous niece's son's baptism as you can see i like to decorate it and put pictures that's all i do is pictures 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 i like to decorate the dividers from the happy planner on my own um the month to month view i actually use i fill out so i can just at a glance have it there because this comes with me everywhere i don't know why i just like to take it with me um again some more pictures um, more pictures. I use a little clip here to remind me of what page I'm on. Here's some Happy Planner stickers that I got from, I believe, Victoria Thatcher. Um, she does a whole uh, Happy Planner layout that you can print. And that's next week is blank. So I decided that I am not going to fill it in like I've done to the other pages until I have my pictures printed. So again, here's another divider, September, October, November, December, there it is. So very quick, simple, it took me about a total of half an hour. I am not done decorating it. I do love my cover. I do love my little, my little sticky die cut that I got from Planner Mania. It's so cute, personalized. Vicky, I love it. I love mermaids. And hello, bye forever. Bonjour. So if you have any comments on how, when, why, or how you can convert your happy planner into a six ring binder, um, please comment below. Feel free to ask me any questions you want. And I will get back to you as early as I can. And one second. Sorry about that. So if you have any questions on how I did, how I converted my happy classic happy planner into an A5 ring binder from, again, Recollections. And I got it on sale. Um, feel free to ask me any questions, comments below, and 
subscribe to my page. That, and that's it. I'm in love with my binder. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Can't wait to hear from you planner babes and any questions that you have for me. Thank you and I'll see you again. Peace.